Welcome back folks. We're back in the Highlands and we're here for a very different style of video where we've gone off piste and basically ventured up a trail that we're going to ride straight back down. So we're talking about an hour to hour and a half hike here down a high, Highland Pass and then we're going to ride back. So we're talking around 15 to 20 minutes of descent. The gradient's quite mellow. The terrain is quite technical. So uh, yeah, this is one for you folks who want a bit of an adventure. You basically hike this pass to the highest point and then ride back along it. You get to check out the features as you're hiking and then you're going to smash through them on the way back. There's definitely a few sections that are tricky and you might have to push through them. A few streams and just pure Scottish beauty. So we're going to jump on the chest cam now show you guys the way through. So this is where we get to a split in the hike. You can take your left route up to the summit of a mountain I cannot pronounce, but I'm going to put at the bottom of the video, at the bottom of the, the bottom of the screen, or we can go right towards the mountain pass, which is the route we will be taking. So the good thing about this route is we're actually hiking the trail that we're going to ride down. So you can look at a few lines if you need, if need be and uh, see if you're up to it really. So there's no point in progressing up the hike if you're looking at stuff you can't ride. But uh, yeah, so far the terrain looks quite mellow but with some really technical features on it. The section like this, we've got to be really careful where we put the front wheel. We could easily get swallowed up by one of these deep, deep uh, rock sort of crevices. It's gonna suck up your front wheel, throw you over. So I suppose a bit of a good bit of momentum and just getting your lines right. That's the kind of trail we're dealing with here, people. Gonna keep you on your toes all the way down, top to bottom. Look at these little fellas. Like a bit of sheep's wool. Right, we're dropping. This is very different to anything. I tend to do on this channel Whoa, or wherever. We're really out in the backcountry. Just didn't fancy that, should have committed to it. I think a trail like this, you really got to be looking up, looking ahead. The scenery you're down here is next level definitely more of a slow speed trail this one whoa oh, some huge boulders there so if you want to find this for yourself whoo. This path is in between the resort of Glencoe and Fort Bill. It's very easily accessible from the road. This really is just a bit of a treat. Some of it's almost Riley, you're into your track stands. <laughs> oh, stop me dead. Hidden little rock. Are you right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just checking out the uh, the water, don't I? 
after all these boulders that tiny on your screen but they are well swallowing very technical terrain this it's like it's like uh, a bit of trials riding There's a huge benefit in this huge selling angle of this area in Scotland in general. It's the right to roam, so you can legally come and just hike this, bike this, camp on this, do whatever you want. Just make for a big sense of adventure. It's out here if you want it. up here the own after our rock garden there woohoo and he's some crazy jank this is a test bike body mine oh there's no way I'm getting down that <sighs> really taxing this stuff really beats you up Zero respite. Well, here we go, stair set. And we're back. hike a bike in there doing it to do this every day brilliant all part of the adventure oh, the old bike sounds like it's done a few days in Scotland which it certainly has. Whoa! If you like the look of this style of, style of trail, there's lots of this around the area. Nikki up front uses the Kamut app, and we we're having a quick flick through earlier. So there's a few others around as well. So you do have to just kind of check out a few routes. Get them locked up, get them on the map. And off you go. You've got to be a, a really good technical rider to, to get a good flow down here. Good fun though, good practice. Ooh, chain ring that, not good. Here we go, look at this.
And yeah, if you want to do this ride yourselves, I'll leave some kind of link or uh, a link to the canoe or Strava, something like that. So you guys can come and have a rattle down. Oh. Vicious garbage in here. Oh, just riding those rocks high. It's pretty. Definitely a whole new style of riding that personally I'm not used to whatsoever. But it's great fun. Definitely gonna wrap you up. <laughs> Blimey. What a bike battering. Ooh. Bike battering beast. So this trail here is situated down the Glencoe Pass and it's a, a really nice drive down through the valley that takes you all the way to Fort Bill and there's loads of hiking and biking trails all around this area so do a bit of your research come and explore it for yourselves folks it's here it's beautiful so if you'd like to see what Fort Bill is all about it's that way we've got a video for that if you want to see what Glencoe is like that way, we've got a video for that as well. As well as loads of stuff in, based in and around the Tweed Valley. Make sure you come back for more, share it with your friends, plan your trips, and we'll see you in the next video, folks. <laughs>